Good evening, everyone. This is your captain, obviously speaking, and we are about to dive right into Volume 7, Chapter 2 of Loki. There's no need to speak before the, the video. I don't want to prolong any more anymore because, uh, you know, it's going to be a big video anyway, so no need for, for that before the video. I may, I may feel like talking afterwards, but yeah. I really like the first episode, and I'm sure I'm gonna love the second one. I'm very hyped, and all I want is to watch it. So let's let's get to this. Let's, as they say, without further ado, let's just start this episode. Uh, 1980p. Yes, subtitles. I have a bit of a. a Sensory processing disorder and auditory processing disorder, so I really thank the subtitles because I could not be speaking at the same time as I was watching without the subtitles. So, let's do this. I love this opening. I gotta say, I love it. It's not rising, but it's very close. <coughs> I'm sorry if I don't speak um, too loud because my parents are sleeping and I don't want to, you know, bother them. I probably butchered that, sorry. This is so anime, I swear to god. The cowboy b-pop meets modern anime, I guess. Whatever the youngins are watching these days, because I haven't seen anime since 2014. Since Kill a Kill, actually, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch the, the, the opening every time, but I really love it, so maybe. <laughs> I really love this part. This uh, this movement, like does the does here. I haven't seen movements like this in a while. I guess it's harder with Maya. Oh yeah. Let's go. Eerie background music. That's the best. Still in old, old clothes. Probably gonna change in, in this chapter, right? <laughs> Nora. <laughs> Probably like a hamster. Oh my god. Nora. I think they're taking us. I'm gonna go with jail. That's definitely gravity fishing dust. Fishing pole guy took us out like it was nothing. Fishing pole, yeah, Welcome okay. To Confirming Apples. the fishing pole. Those were Ironwood's ace operatives. Mm -hmm. You guys had a run-in with the ace ops? Ironwood must really have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> You're not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? Who the fuck the are you? The ace ops are the elite of elite military huntsmen. And Ironwood's personal attack dogs. Oh. So they got you too, huh? I wouldn't let myself get caught by them. I'm here because I've been speaking out against Atlas's exploitation of Mantle, and General Ironwood is trying to silence me. I like you. You threw a brick at a ship. It's worth it if it gets people talking about our cause. Well, uh, okay. I mean, our cause? Not... Yes! The fight for better conditions in Mantle, led by the charismatic, talented, lovely Robin Hill and her happy huntresses. They were all top Atlas Academy graduates who could have signed up for the military, but Robin and the Huntresses chose to stay in Mantle. She's gunning for a seat on the Kingdom's Council, and when she gets it, she's gonna put an end to Ironwood's tyranny! <laughs> what is happy happening? Huntresses. Happy is Huntresses. Is that their real name? Don't you think tyranny's a little dramatic? <laughs> Easy to say for a Schnee heiress living comfortably up in Atlas. All right. She, she hasn't seen Atlas in a while, bitch. Not anymore. 
really love this. Oh my god! <gasps> yes! Oh, Nora, stop! <laughs> Sorry. Don't like that it's probably you. too loud. Oh god, why is this just so salty? This isn't the police station. It's Atlas, Atlas Academy. Academy. So they're being taken directly to Ironwood. Atlas Academy looks a bit cold. I guess we will be seeing the general. For better or worse. <laughs> So, what do we do? I don't know yet. He listen first, I guess. What we say. And yes, no. And not discuss that in front of the fucking guards. Just saying. We'll follow your lead, Ruby. No. Oh. Oh, Ruby's face was so cute. She's a great leader. Fight me. Finally, main character. I don't immediately dislike. <gasps> Yay, you're Baby. Here. Hello, Winter. Iron Daddy. <gasps> Winter. Oh, my baby. Anyone want to give us a hand with these? Yeah, please. You have ten seconds to take those off before I start hurting you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Those handcuffs are amazing. Come in. It is so good to see all of you. Our reception didn't really convey that. Yeah. I sincerely regret how you were treated by my team. When a rogue airship entered our airspace, it raised some <laughs> red flags. We assumed the ship was stolen. Stolen? It kind of is. Okay, yeah. It was stolen. You stole an Atlas airship? What were you thinking? You might have been shot down. How unbelievably irresponsible. Oh. I'm sorry I worried you. But we did what we had to do. I... I suppose I understand. I love you. But I cannot believe that you allowed this to happen, Crow. You try stopping these kids when they have their minds <laughs> set on something. Speaking of which, we have some important information for you that's confidential. Oh, is it about the relics? Or perhaps the Winter Maiden? Holy fuck. Okay, so. You told them? <laughs> As if you didn't. Did you really think you were the only one who got to work on a new plan after Beacon? With Ozpin gone, I needed my own team of people I could trust. So yes, I told them. The Aesops, too. Which is why I'm so glad you're here. With this. Until now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Oz has pushed her back, has kept victory out of her claws, but she will keep returning. Stronger and stronger. Unless we destroy her. And how are you gonna do that? But what about the Atlas relic? You mean the Staff of Creation? It's safe inside the vault. And the Winter Maiden? She is secure and in stable condition. Stable? Stable condition? What does She's, that- She's uh, not exactly a spring chicken. Spring chicken? So she's old? <sighs> I know how this all looks. I don't think I've ever heard Recalling that, my military, that expression before. The embargo, I probably don't seem the most trustworthy right now. Then why continue it? The people of Mantle are hurting! I needed to ensure Salem couldn't infiltrate Atlas. And I wanted my military here, protecting my people. But it's not my protecting people. them. It's making everyone hate Instead you. Instead of everyone. <sighs> it's a price I'm willing to pay. Just as you all have been entrusted with the knowledge of Salem's existence, I need you all to trust me. I have a plan. 
Ozpin believed the best way to fight Salem was to do so in secret. Whether that was the right choice or not isn't for me to say. But we find ourselves in a position of needing, well, a new no approach. approach. And what do you suggest? This was this was this exposition. That's Amity Coliseum, where the Vital Festival is held. Indeed. When Beacon fell and everyone on Remnant lost contact with one another, I knew our current system was outdated. Amity was built to bring the nations together, and it will serve that purpose once again. Mm, an antenna. Isn't it great? We're not going to just replace Beacon Tower. Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will re-establish global communications. By launching the tower high into the atmosphere, our scientists believe we can create high a into the atmosphere. A fucking satellite. satellite out of reach of the Grim and capable of maintaining global communications. I need alcohol. Even if we were to lose another tower, that is great. James, you don't need the entire military for this. How are you gonna launch that? I will for the next part. Oh fuck! Where I finally tell the people about Sarah. <gasps> oh shit! So that's why you withdrew your troops. To handle the panic that will break out in Atlas. Yes. Panic is inevitable. And panic brings grim. But I believe we are ready. Once Atlas has come to grips with the fight ahead, I'll use Amity Tower to spread the message to all a remnant. But everything will fall apart. Grim will be everywhere. You're right. But Atlas is willing and prepared to assist. Trying to hide the are truth you gonna the be world able will eventually kill us though, all. Though, like... Your military isn't big enough to protect everyone. Oz spent his whole life, many lives, keeping this secret. I know. But since Beacon, things have changed. Without him here to guide us, all I can do is use my best judgment. What is it? Actually, Oz isn't completely gone. Uh, Oscar here is... is the next Ozpin. Oz? <laughs> I am so glad you're here. I didn't think you... Not quite. He's kind of, um, gone at the moment. That's not normal. How did he... We don't know. We were in a train crash, and ever since, well... Suddenly, Oz wasn't there anymore. Ruby, you're not a good liar. It's the worst news yet. Did you learn anything from him about the relics before? He told us the lamp can answer three questions. But all the questions were used up already. Right, right. Ruby, that's Oz gonna come that to bite you in the time. ass. At least we have you, Oscar. You're safe here in Atlas. Maybe together we can figure out how to bring Ospin back. Thank you, sir. If he opens the lamp I mean, uh, and asks... General. Um, I mean, I, Jean I will what... just, just say uh, she has one question left. You're giving it back to me? After what happened with the Aesops, I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you, especially something as important as this. For the time being, I think it's safest with the people who brought it here. Um, thank you. As long as it can't be accidentally destroyed. We must work together if we are to fight Salem and win. Now, if you're all on board, Tell us how we can help. Good. Because getting the Amity Tower ready to launch won't be easy. But first, I think we need to get those weapons of yours up to our standards. Nice! <laughs> Remember, this is Atlas. While assisting the military, we will provide you with the best equipment oh, yeah. scientists can devise. Really? Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
so cute. The second time I got banned. Then there was the third time when. All right, cut the chatter. I'd like to sincerely apologize for the miscommunication down in Mantle. We didn't I intend feel so to. so bad, honestly. If we had known who we were, we'd be laughing over a hot meal right now. And I understand how you were just following orders. I mean, you could have asked us some questions first. Uh, <laughs> ah, questions are for the weak, but we're all on the same team now. Not that I'm I love happy you. about it. <laughs> we just wanted to say we're sorry. <laughs> And that we're looking forward to working with you on our next mission. You might be students, but you've been fighting just as hard as we have, if not harder. Exactly why I'm looking forward to seeing what you kids can do. <sighs> not everything's a competition, Hare. Come on, let me show you around campus. Crow. I meant it when I said it was good to see you again. Okay. Just go uh, to a barber yeah. shop, please. You That's too. all I ask. <laughs> so cute. So that way's the cafeteria, and that way's the training rooms. Oh, and over there are the classrooms. <sighs> this all looks great, Penny. They're all tired, poor baby. Remember, you're in Atlas now. As the most well-funded school on Remnant, every teen at Atlas Academy gets their own room. And if that wasn't enough... So we're staying in the dorms? It'll be just like bacon again! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Who's coming? Who's coming? Who's coming? That's that what's, right? That's what's. Yes, yes, it's what's. <laughs> I like his clothes. Time, a singular hideout makes us more susceptible to discovery. But what if we're seen? What if we're recognized? We stay mobile. Oh, well, cybersecurity has been stepped up in Atlas. As usual, none of the code was updated in Mantle. <laughs> that certainly sounds useful. It should be. I helped write that code, after all. Hmm, you sneaky bastard. Best way to be invisible. Invis well, invisible, I not invincible. We <laughs> well, I mean, no oh boy. Who are you killing? Oh, that's a block. That's it? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Wait, uh, I just I want to see who was uh, Christina V. I think it was the hair. Um, no, it was no one. So it's gonna be Robin, right? Probably. Yeah. Oh man. I am so excited for or this fucking season. It it looks so great. It's that like holy shit. It's look it looks even better than volume six and volume six looks amazing already. Okay, there's Oh we have heights, but we don't have uh, uh, Modern, not modern, uh, updated heights for Team Ruby. F7! Yeah, I'm her height. Okay, nothing more. Thought it could have something else. Okay, 
So, um, holy shit. <sighs> that was amazing. I really, I really like, I really like the pennies showing a bit more. Cause I, I, I'm gonna be honest here. I did not cry when Penny died. I, I didn't, I mean, I cared a bit, obviously, but I, I didn't shock me and it didn't break me as much as Yang losing her arm or Pira dying. Pira dying. Um, because I think, personally, I think Penny suffered from a lack of screen time in the first volume, so I'm really glad she's getting a bit more and I want, you know, to see more of her. And since the episodes are bigger now, they can, they can, you know, devote a bit of time to every new character and um, old but coming back character. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see more of Penny. To see her probably fight again. I don't know. She's gonna fight again, but I hope I hope we see her actually fight and not just you know vapor vaporize um, with cream. And I really want to see Winter fight again because um, well, it's been three, almost four seasons since we saw her fight, and now that she's back, please let her fight with with you know big summons or. A lot of summons. She, she seemed to use a bit, you know, uh, numbers instead of size when it comes to Grim. So maybe, maybe fight with a lot of Grim summons. That would be cool. And oh boy, we are gonna get upgrades for the weapons, like probably all of them. I don't know. I mean, they were talking, they were showing uh, Blake's weapon, but maybe they're gonna upgrade every. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, Yang's weapon is gonna be upgraded. Uh, not weapon. Um, her arm is gonna be upgraded. It's gonna it's gonna have a like huge gauntlet. So maybe the rest is also gonna have a couple upgrades. I, I can't. I, I don't know how they would upgrade, Mercenaster, but uh probably, Crescent Crescent Woes, a bit and. Oh well, we did see uh John with the hard light shield so. That's probably going to be one of them, hard light, because it's Atlas. And someone in the Discord chat mentioned, I forgot your username, I'm sorry. Um, but the, they mentioned uh, Ren's weapon being different in the opening, like slightly bulkier. So probably that's also going to be one of the upgrades, I really hope it is, because Stoneflower is kind of weak. Like it's just mm, I don't know. Just normal bullets don't really hurt Grim. So something else I don't know. Use different dust or or get bigger web bi uh, bigger bullets. Um. Nora's weapon isn't that bad. I mean, it all it already has the. The lightning upgrade. She's a, she she just really needs to use it a bit more than she does, but it could it could be upgraded if she wanted as well. But yeah, I'm I'm betting it's gonna be Crossia Moors, Stoneflower, um, Ember Celica, Gamble Shroud, obviously. But I uh, is it is Gamble Shroud gonna be like just um, glue glue together, because uh, I mean it could it could have some you know upgrades in that in the long range kind of thing probably. Um, we could use some present rose. I don't see you uh, what what kind of upgrade it, it could have, but it's probably needing a bit of repair after all those months without um uh, being tended to in the Mistral Lark. But yeah, I'm rambling about weapons, I'm really sorry. I love the weapons, even if I don't I'm not you know really knowledgeable on those. But I really love the weapons. And I really wanna see the upgrades. I wanna see the new costume uh new clothes, new uh, anything. <laughs> I don't know the word in English. But I really wanna see the new clothes. Because they look awesome. I'm in the field that loves 
uh, basically everyone's new clo clothes, I guess. Um, it's gonna take me a while to accept Nora's tiny boots. I, I, I just preferred her Converse, but well, it makes sense. It's a, uh, it's cold, so she she should have boots. But I don't know. I just kind of wanted it to be probably a knee boot, you know, knee high boots or something like that. I really love Team Rubies, all four of them. Um, the inner suit could just be slightly different for um, Blake. You know, the cat suit could just be slightly different. It makes it, it makes no sense how how she gets in and out, but you know, on the the whole thing, it looks nice. Really love Yang's new design, and <laughs> let's not get me started on Weiss. Weiss is best girl. Uh, fight me, boobs. Um, what else from this episode? I'm I'm glad to see that that Ironwood isn't um isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like, it was getting so paranoid, I thought it was gonna be, you know, fully against them. Uh, maybe, well, <laughs> he can be later, but for now, I'm actually glad he's, he's you know, he's, he's being a normal, decent person. Um, and he is trusting them. And he's also trusting is his subordinates you know enough to tell them stuff which is nice i like i like seeing winter in the in the whole thing because uh, hiding stuff from her would just mean she gets less screen time and i want winter to have a bit more screen time i like her um let's see how her character goes this this volume i hope she doesn't die i hope she doesn't turn evil or at least not fully evil. I believe she can get a bit messed up with. Um, I'm not stupid. I can see some red flags here and there and some themes. But I really I really don't want Winter to be another bad family member for Weiss. Come on, Weiss deserves some someone that, that loves her. You know, family at least. Of course, of, of course, Team Ruby and Juniper, Juniper are her family, you know, but come on, Winter, Winter is a family, too. Um, we're gonna see about Whitley. That's still a wild card. We're gonna see if he stays with his dad or turns around. I hope he turns around. I mean, I didn't like him at first, obviously. But he's a kid, you know. He's been living with that shithead for I don't know, at least fourteen years. He looks around that age. Um, I want him to like, you know, tell his dad, "Yeah, I'm not gonna be your puppet anymore. Just fuck off." No, don't say fuck off, but actually, you you could, but I don't think he would. Um, I really hope he turns around. But if it doesn't, uh, I'm not gonna be sad, you know. I just really want Winter to not be against Weiss. Please. Please. Um, about the new teams, I really love Wolfboy. I am... Um, I'm gonna say... Furry trash because I'm not furry trash, but I really like those characters with wolf, kind of you know, uh, wolf and cat uh, themes going on. So Blake, um, Catra from Shira, werewolves in general. I really like werewolves, so I like him. He's he's adorable and he and he's trying to lie and his tail is giving it away. And then hair was just looking at him like, yeah, I see you, boy. Um, I didn't catch the name of the big buff lady, but I love her. Um, she was, she was very, very, um, her personality wasn't really what I was expecting, and I love it. It's not, um, it's not, um, how do I say it? It's 
it's not very predictable. You know, she kind of looks like she's uh, she's very um, serious in the opening a bit, and also when they get when they catch King Ruby, but she's not, and I love it. I really love it. And um, well, Clover is Clover. I like him. I don't know if if he's gonna stay good or not. I mean, his character kind of has a tendency to be um. One of those characters that turns to the dark side, but I don't know. Probably a red flag only. Uh, not red flag, sorry, uh, red herring. Uh, the other dude probably is also a red herring, the one that doesn't speak and is very creepy. I don't like him, but I'm gonna have to wait and see if it does anything besides standing there looking like a, like a, a doll or something like that. It looks really weird, I'm sorry, it just, it just mm, steps on every nerve of mine. Um, yeah, I think that's it for, for this, this episode. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it didn't have a lot of action or anything, it was just mostly exposition. And I'm really liking the the exposition we're, get, we're getting. Um, explain stuff, yeah. Um... I think that's it for tonight. I, I think that it is getting way too long. So 